what is up ladies and gentlemen we're here with the big old monster van beautiful m1000 and straight ahead of us is sloth performance gonna go ahead and check out the s1000 couple new upgrades on that bike right there got your boy dude mungus over there on the beautiful chixer 1000 and a ninja h2 over behind sloth performance about to head out do a couple runs real quick first ones of the day let's see how this goes all righty so this might be the first pass of the day we get a wide open road i am doing a draggy test pool here we are going to try to get a run in with uh with dude mungus here but we're really just data pooling right now, trying to figure out what the bike's going to make uh, without an aero disc. So, super excited. I'm on my M, which is stock height. So, alright, let's see how this goes. Seven out first run of the day still a good pass yeah oh yeah and I'm strapped good too all right we'll hit it a little harder off the line now but yeah I'm excited to see how this does with the s1k being lowered uh, and him being a little bit heavier than I am I'm hoping for a pretty good comparison here uh, with this so we'll just have to wait and see all right run number two all right so mungus is gonna go ahead and head not again which is cool Terrible pass on my part. Terrible. But coming this way, it is so windy. Oh my lord. It is so windy. Alrighty, let's get another run in going that way. And hopefully it's not as bad. My lord. Plus, I can't even see my dash with the... Uh, I gotta uh, switch out this screen protector. So much glare on it. I couldn't even see my screen. Oh Lord, still, whatever. Let's go for a uh, round three. Yeah, buddy, she's a wheelie monster. She is a wheelie monster. Let's make this a good one. Going a good direction here. Look at that stance, boys. Look at that stance. You got that stock wheelbase stance going on. I 
gotta love stock hype. Gotta love being stock hype. Good runs still, good runs. was a really really good race between them two I just can't get off the line quick enough being a uh, stock height but that is changing soon but now that we got numbers for the draggy we can go back throw on the aero disc and let's see what our numbers are gonna show with the draggy with how that run ran. Really, really happy with how that one ran. All right, so here's gonna be the testing without the aero disc on the M1000 RR. So we're gonna go back, collect the data, see what we got, and uh, go from there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we gathered some good information. Hopefully everything with the Draggy went okay. First time using it. So, all right, let's go back, throw on the aero disc and get back out for some more testing. Draggy test for me with the aero disc. I went 13, so 60 to 180 without a disc. I went 13, I think it was 79, something like that. Uh, and 13, uh, 73, I believe were my numbers. From 60 to 180. So we're doing some more testing. Their stock height without straps. So we're just kind of letting them race. And then I'm hitting shortly after. He's also doing draggy numbers on the H2. So he's just kind of playing along with us. But I'm kind of getting races in with them. Since we're all three stock height, they're just not strapped. That's their only difference. Is they don't have... Uh, they don't have straps. So, 
I'm doing my testing real quick with the bike strapped and then I'm going to unstrap and do more races with them. Get it. wheelbase stock height race and I was unstrapped that time you can tell straps kind of loose so good good race and uh, with that being said all right so the draggy numbers I knocked off a full 1.2 seconds from uh, adding it so I went 1.2 seconds faster that is a 50 to uh, one, or sorry, 60 to 180. Uh, 60 to 180, I believe it is. Uh, went 1.2 seconds faster. One more. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're running one more again. Let's go. So he wants one more on that one. So we're going to run it back. But yeah, alright. So adding the aero disc does make it a lot faster. 1.2 seconds is a big difference. 